Hi, it's Independence Day. Activities are there at schools to celebrate this occasion. In fact, I have chosen an easy activity with cheap material and easy preparation that aids many aspects, especially oral fluency, where kids have to present their work at school. I've divided this activity into three parts. Before we proceed, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Part 1. Preparation part. This is previously done by the teacher at her free time, either at home or at school. All you need is red papers or cardboards, green and white ones, marker and crayons, a pair of scissors, a glue stick and popsicle sticks. On the white paper, draw a circle. Using a paper clip makes it easier for you. Then cut it. I have already prepared one. Draw a cedar tree on the green cardboard and cut it as well. Here is a ready-made one for you. Finally, on the red papers, cut the petals this way. Turn and cut. So easy. And here is the outcome that I will show you how to apply in class in part two. Part two, application part. In class, talk with your kids about the occasion. Lead them to talk about the Lebanese flag, its colors and what each color symbolizes. For example, the white color symbolizes peace and purity. The red color symbolizes the blood of the martyrs. And the green cedar tree in the middle of the Lebanese flag resembles immortality. Now, distribute the material on your kids and have them do the craft in groups. Give them clear instruction to know what to do. Model designing the flower in front of them while saying the steps. I will show you how you can model this in class. You can say the following steps. First, I glue the cedar tree in the middle of the circle. Next, I glue the four red petals at the back of the white circle. One, two, three, four. Then, I paste the popsicle stick so I can hold my flower. Make sure you paste it in uh, the correct way. Finally or last, I share the Lebanese flag flower design with my pals. Part 3. Presentation time. Parents can be involved as well in this stage. To enhance your kids' oral fluency, have them present the steps they followed to make the flower using time-ordered words. First, next, then, and last. Then, have them recall the symbol of each color. You can assign this for home as well. Parents, I've got a job for you. What about applying this activity with your kids at home? Let them present it, practice their oral fluency, and have some fun.